Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. I think today, nope, not those. Today is going to be titled, wait, that's not a sawmill. What I'm doing today, here's my bridge. This is a bridge in my driveway. It's 55 feet long. And I don't know if you can see it, but that board right there is broken. And this one up here is broken. So this one's bolted in. You can see the bolts. They're coming out. There's one over there too. And uh, yeah, I got to replace them. Winter's coming. But this could get a little dicey because let's see if you can see this you see that hole in the ground right there i'm pretty sure there's a skunk living there because i can smell him so if he comes out i guarantee you i'm running like hell first one should be easy it just slides in I own that one now. Oh yeah, nice and light. Okay, so there's two that are broken. Well, let's see if I can get this second one out. You know, all I can say is, thank goodness for power tools. This used to be such a pain, I'd have to bring my generator down here. And... Yeah, that one's not coming out. that one just broke Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, there's still a nut. Up now. So I gotta clear this out. That's nothing. See that wood there? On top of that big I beam? Use this piece of wood. That wood was put there in like 1991. This side bore down from the boards bouncing on it, see? So before you ask, no, I did not cut these boards. I buy treated lumber for this. I cannot make treated lumber. I could cut boards this, that wouldn't be a problem at all, but copper pressure treated. There we 
There's no way. So you saw me making blocking, and I told you those were like eight to ten dollars each. For, this is a ten foot, so these would be ten. 10 bucks each, about a buck a foot. Well, these are like $20 each, which really, when you think about it, they kiln dried it, then they pressure treated it, and it only doubled in price. That's pretty good. I mean, that's really good. All right, those are in place. I just have to anchor them. So I wasn't sure what length I needed. I brought both, but it looks like it's the short ones. Yep. Lubricant. Oh yeah, that's a screw. Extra lubricant. It's got a little bend to it. I don't think I'm going to use that. Uh-oh, I'm out of lubricant. Oh, there it goes. This fell out of my... Uh... Yeah, can't lose that, right? Those boards are anchored. They're going nowhere. This board up here. Because of the bolts, I can't reach under there and use the impact up here. So I gotta wait for my son to get here. He can hold it from underneath and I can get to it from the top. Ah. So until then, it's bureau clock. I'm teething. I don't have beer until I'm done. That's my motivation to finish. That's a long bridge. And look at this. Look at how far down. You go off the bridge here, and down again, and then down again. <laughs> That's a long way. Now water down there, that's gotta be six, seven foot deep. Cause when it goes over here, I'll, I'll get a clip of the water going over this when it rains. Over here, I had that all cleared out and the water washed all this gravel down. And then the plants grew up this summer. So I gotta get in there again and clean that out. If I don't, it'll start eating into the, the sides. It actually fills this whole area two or three feet deep when it floods. It's unbelievable. And then there's the, the driveway and it goes up the hill, up to the house up there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. 
So my house is on top of a hundred foot cliff. Yeah, it makes life interesting. Oh yeah, go ahead, Chris, hide. <laughs> Way in my mood. So Chris made it. So he's going underneath. He's gonna hold it in place, hold the bolt, and I'm gonna try and power the top off. Ready? And that's coming out, isn't it? Yeah. Did it not come out? Oh, the rest is in the water, no less. Oh, the rest is when you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> walk across underneath here. Stand right there. Nest? This nest is way over there. Yeah, you can see that. It's right here. I know. You got it, huh? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, you let me know when. Go ahead. Good. This side didn't. Oh, great.
Try to get your end first. You hear that? Yeah, it sounded like something breaking. Yeah, if I had to guess it'd be is that an oak tree. No, that's a that's a big poplar. That's probably what's gonna break if anything. Poplar, I guess. Yeah, it's like the poplar would cut up in your house. Yeah. I mean, are you really? Yeah. So much. Let's see, you can see the end was rolled and he was beating it through. That's why we couldn't get it. I'll do the cheap thing. I'll just thread it all the way through and pound it down again. Now, do you zip these in or anything or just no. leave them? This is just going to stay loose and I put a thing in from the top to keep it from rocking mm -hmm. and that's all I got to do. Okay. So we got to bolt the top in here and there. tools do make this easy. <laughs> it's a long way to go through a board. Yeah. I'm going to spray some lube on this one before I put it in. There's that ash, or the, not the ash, what did you say, was the cottonwood? Yeah. That yeah, real tall one right there. That's when we think we heard cracking earlier.
A lot less friction when you drill through a crack. Yeah. We're done. Let's give it the old hammer test. Let's make sure it doesn't walk. Nope, it moves, but it doesn't go anywhere. And here's a little skunk nest. We've been smelling him all day. He kicked some dirt down in his hole. We're gonna go for a little walk at the creek. So he built this when we first moved in. And despite the floods, in time, it's still here. We poured a lot of concrete over through here. I'll get on the other side and show you. And this all used to be level. There's been a lot of washout down here throughout the years. Could have made a nice swimming hole. This is one of my favorite trees. Pan up and see the leaves. That is black walnut. That one there is black walnut. That one over there is black walnut. There's two more right there that are black walnuts. So they have the leaves that stick out and shoot like up in both different directions. Yeah. It almost looks like a sumac leaf. Yeah, exactly. That's what black walnut looks like. This year, there were no nuts. Not a one. So here, you can, you can see this one. That's black walnut. Down there is black walnut. Let's see. There's a few of them over here. Yeah. There's a big one over there somewhere. I haven't walked over there lately, but these are all nice. Someday when you own the place, you can cut them down. They need another 20 years. Black walnuts need to be about 24 inch diameter before they're really worth cutting. At that point, we'll have robots to cut down trees. And flying cars to haul them off with. Yeah. Yeah, here, you want to get a shot of how big this is? I'll stand by it. It's huge. I know. That's this over. Was, this was a tiny little tree when we first moved in here. This was not very big. I don't know if your sawmill would handle the base of it. No, it wouldn't. It's bigger than my mill. That's a big tree. Try to hug it. Tree hugger. I am. That's an ash. It's not dead yet. Probably ought to cut that down. So it dies and falls on my power line. It's easier to handle it then. Well, it's nice wood. It's going to be rare one day because they're all going to be dead. There's a big tulip pop. Someone's having some fun today. Spending a lot of money. That's not. <laughs> so, remember the, the crook log? The log with a crook in it that I cut? The very first one I put on video, I think? That's the other half of it. So I'll get some good, good logs out of that. My bent board. But those are, uh... Oh, man, I can't think of the name. It's this stuff. Lotus? Locust? Loaded, that's it, loaded. Locust or locust? Locust. And I think that's what these are. Which is why, the only reason I haven't cut this one down. They use those like for locusts. fence posts too. Yeah, locust is good for anything that goes in the ground. 
but it's awesome for hanging on walls. I mean, it looks really cool, and I want to, I gotta find an elm. I have no elm trees, but this is a monkey ball tree, um, Osage orange. So I'm really looking forward to sawing it. I just don't know if I can do anything with it once I saw it. Only one way to find out. And then over here, I think these are all maples, and I have one ash right there. This might be oak. No, that's maple. So, I, I mean, I got so much maple, I'm just going to cut it into blocking and sell it. I can get, you know, eight to ten bucks a board for blocking. So, I cut five, I cut six of them yesterday. So, that's 50 to 60 bucks. So, that's how I'm going to pay for a box of blades. <laughs> well, you know, the phone know how to make money. At least and, cover its own expenses. Yeah, that's what I mean. It should be a free hobby. All right, you want to toss your thing in the back here? Yep. <laughs>